creating plan and profile sheets with Open Rail Designer. So I have my 2D view in view one, and I've zoomed in in view three, so I can actually see my, my centerline geometry. View four is just my profile of my south track, which is what I'm gonna base my drawing sheets on. I'm in the Open Rail Modeler workflow and the Drawing Production tab. And I just go to Name Boundary and Place Name Boundaries. Here I can set, this can be a plan. I set my drawing seed to be my plan and profile. And this is the plan part of that plan and profile. I can set the offsets here left and right. So I'm just gonna change this to be 20 to the right and 50 maybe to the left to take into account my, my yard area later on. I don't want to create a drawing in this case. I just want to create the sheets and then I'm gonna use these sheets for my profile sheets. I need to select the path though. So I select my south track and here I can, I can either key in data or just fix it to start and end. I'm just gonna accept that and you'll see the boundaries are displayed in white in my plan view. I accept it again and they're created. I can go back to place boundary tool again and I select the profile. I'm going to use a drawing C, this is plan profile. In this case, the method is going to be from plan group and not from the station limits. I want to use the plan settings. I'm going to use create drawing and I'm going to select my profile and here you can see my profile sheets, which will be created. And I could edit these, but I'm just gonna accept these. I now get to the create drawing dialog box where I'm just going to okay. And I'm gonna add, before I do that, I'm gonna to add to the sheet index as well. So the sheets are created. It opens the last model. So what will be created here? Well, if I go to my name boundary manager, I can see in here, my south track, all my plan boundaries, which I could go and edit. I don't have to keep these, I could edit these. And I can see my profile sections. It's also created in my active view groups, my models and my sheet views. So I can jump to ST1 and there is my plan and profile for sheet one. And I could select as many as I wish and just scan through. So I'm in sheet two. What if I want to maybe annotate? Let's just move forward maybe to uh, the sheet where my yard area is. So let's go and select sheet 14. So here we can see my plan and profile. So my plan view, maybe I need to annotate uh, some of the uh, geometry. I could go to my sheet 14 plan view, and here you see it is. I could annotate, I could select my crossover, reset, and now I've got some uh, annotation which I've just set up. I could go back to my plan and profile view, and you can see my annotation has come through, and I can continue annotating.